hello guys welcome to my channel so uh, last time uh, I was doing this simple automation video on Excel so in the previous video I showed you how you can read the file if you have a data in your Excel file and if you want to read the data how should you read that so I made a video and this is the code I will put the video in the description so this is going to be the second part of that series and there will be one more video where I will merge both uh, the previous one and the today today's video so in this video what I'm going to show you is if you don't have any Excel and let's say if you have the data either you had the data from the database or through any CSV file and you want to um, you want to enrich that data and you want to create an XLS file to pass on to your managers or reporting team so let's start and see how we can achieve that so uh, this the name of this file is um, not signifying what we have written inside so I'll just rename it so it should be read Excel Okay, and it will update references and click on finish so this was your read XML Excel and now we will create write Excel okay, it's easy so we want main method to be generated okay so let's write down the steps first like what we need to do actually and then we can achieve that so first you need to create a workbook so first step is your create a workbook second step is and for those guys who will be watching this video first I would recommend you to watch the read excel video first because there I have shown you how we should uh, use workbook and sheet so it will make more sense then okay I will put uh, the video link in the description so have a look so first step was that we have to create a workbook second is the obvious one that we have to create a sheet where we will have our data third step is that we have to insert the data into sheet so before we can do that we actually have to have the data also so store the data into an object it could be anything uh, it can be a map or, or any kind of collection okay now what you need to do is when you insert the data into the sheet what you need to do is uh, when I say sheet it means workbook okay not XLS file so afterwards when we have the data into the sheet what we need to do is we need to uh, save the sheet or you can say the data into your desired XLSX file okay so these are the steps so without wasting any time let's just start with it so to create a workbook what you need to do is you need to have access XSSF workbook object it's tough to pronounce <laughs> okay now when we when you have a book you need to create an instance of it like this so first step is over now you need sheet so sheet object will be created by a book so it will be like this now you need to provide a name for the sheet so let's say I I just let, let's say just data okay now we need the data into an object so I don't have the database set up right now and I don't have any table so I will just create a two dimensional array and store the data there so two dimensional array would be like this and the name should be 
array and data will be inside like this now what I want to create is uh, let's say uh, my my website is of electronics so I'm managing the data of electronic products so the header for the Excel sheet should contain the uh, information for each column so my first column will be id the second column um, let's say uh, product name or you can say name uh, and let's say the date on which it, it uh, on which we displayed it on our website now we need the actual data so um, i will be creating four of them but you can create as many as you want so it should be separated by comma now the id will be like this one and let's say name is um, laptop i'm using that right now so let's put the date today and we can decrement it so laptop and i'm using mic uh, so let's say 13 which is not a lucky number uh, three um, i'm using my keyboard to type Twelve zero seven two thousand twenty four, and let's say mouse 11072020 so this is your data now what you need to do is you need to insert the data into the sheet so before that so in your excel you how do you want to iterate over it so let's say this is your first header how will you notify your sheet that 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 you are now going to insert into the second row and later on on third and fourth and fifth rows so you need to have a counter for that right so it will be like this row num goes to zero okay now what you need to do is you need to iterate over your object or your data and which is really simple what you need to do is you just need to use data then you can use colon and then let's say i have i'm having my rows here right but it is containing my column data so let's say call data and initialize the local variable with object okay object instance it's here now you need to create a row object which is row row equals to sheet now i'm actually creating the row inside my sheet now we need to provide the row number so I provided it and then I incremented that so this much is this much should be clear now what we need to do is we need to create column also but for that we need to iterate over our data so now see problem is what this was a two-dimensional array but Eclipse cannot understand that right so we need to save it into the single dimensional array now we need to iterate over it but before that we need to manage the counter for column also right so let's initialize it with zero now the data will be in your object and let's say it's d stands for data and it's called data okay now what you need to do is you need to create cell in your row now so cell will be your like cell cell equals to now row dot create cell and then call num and afterwards increment it because we need to provide that we are now going to write in the next row and then next cell afterwards what we need to do is so check out here how many types of data structure are we using um, data structure is the wrong word primitive types so this is your integer and this is your set of characters string 
right so we need to identify which type of data is coming inside this t object because this is object right so we need to identify what type of data are we having inside the object data so what how can you achieve that is simple using instance of so if d is instance of string then what you need to do is you need to um, set cell value so there will be a lot of values but import uh, use anyone and then you have to cast it why because the data is of type object right so this much should suffice now there is one more type so in this data I'm having only two of them let's say if I had one more uh, float variable or float data then I had I have to use you know float also or number whichever you prefer okay so else if if D is instance of integer then set cell value first uh, first pass it to integer right so that is all that you need to do okay now simple stuff is that you need to write down your sheet data into your xls file okay so you need to provide where is your file lying so i don't have a file so i will be creating that right so as you can see i'm using 1.7 so i will be using the features of 1.7 which is auto resource management so it will be like this so i'm not using catch i will use that feature uh, through clips so what i need to do is i need to create file output stream and fos the name and equals new file it should be obvious now i need to provide the path so i want this to be um, created um, ignore this i want it to be created um, in, at my desktop so things like this copy the path paste it here provide the name so let's say test dot x l s x okay now when you do that what you need to do is you need to provide the catch block right so click on the second option find not found up exception okay now you have all of the data here now the one last step is that you have to write the data from your book to your file which will be fos and that's all but remember in Java you have to have your resource closed afterwards like whenever you are doing the implementation like I have done all of the stuff with book so I should close it right but let's use the Java 7 feature one more time like this so now you can move all of this inside your catch block or uh, try block okay format it now what you need to do is you need to catch my uh, exception here that's all so without wasting any time let's run it right click run as java application Oh, did I run it okay, it's already terminated and the time is accurate so let's see our desktop okay so file is here and it got created just now so let's open it so we have one two three four we have the accurate date and the product name so this is good right so this is how you can write the data and uh, 
later on in the third part what I will be doing is I will be showing you how you can manage your manual work in a in an automated way so I have seen lots of fintech guys and um, some even software engineers who actually export the data from um, database and then uh, you know they manually do the copy paste thing and which is not good so um, I can I can give some scenarios and I can use those inside uh, my third part of the series and I will show you guys how will I achieve it so that's all for now so stay tuned and please support me um, in this journey please subscribe to my channel I need your support really bad and if you like my content please like the video and share it and if you need any specific content do comment on the on any video because I'm really active in my on my comment section I will obviously reply to it and if you need anything specific I will make that video so stay tuned and support me guys thank you have a great day bye